all in my personal life, I was still very into health. And so I was in the gym every day. I was going for runs four, five, six days a week. Uh, I was watching my diet and, and so on. Uh, but I didn't really get into the scientific side of things quite yet. So this is right now my early to mid 20s. I'm 40 now. So at that time, it was more about reading the magazines and uh, you know getting tips from friends and going to the gym and so on. It was in my later 20s when I started to become aware of the idea of biohacking, as people call it now, and uh, the supplementation and trying to make tweaks to your lifestyle to accomplish a specific goal. And I found myself constantly going into the scientific research. So uh, just getting deeper and deeper. My curiosity was getting deeper and there weren't typically answers to the questions I was asking myself. So I would have to go on PubMed, which is like the government website for all of the scientific studies. Uh, it's an index of scientific studies. And then you could start doing searches and learning from those studies. And so that's when I started to really get into the scientific side of things. And that's when I came across a paper called The Hallmarks of Aging, which came out more than 10 years ago now. And it was essentially a, a summary of all of the research to that point of the reasons why we get older. So looking at animal studies and human studies, and then looking at the biological mechanisms or the microscopic things that go wrong as we age, which actually leads to us having higher incidences of disease and looking older and passing away. All of these things are are conspiring against us on the microscopic scale. And reading that paper really opened my eyes. It, and that's when things really started to change for me. Because first of all, I came to realize that the idea of aging is something that's not hardwired into us. It's not in our genetic code. It's something that's malleable. It's something that we can influence. We can speed it up and we can also slow it down. Everyone knows we can speed it up. When you think about some, someone smoking a pack of cigarettes a day, you look at them and they look older. They do tend to pass away much earlier and so on. But not everyone realizes that you can actually do the opposite. You can slow down your aging too by taking the right steps um, it, in your lifestyle and your routine. And yeah. so when I saw that and then learned about these hallmarks, fast forward a few more years, I started networking with scientists. And that's when I decided that there was something that I could do to try to impact aging. Mm, that's so fascinating. And it's true. Most of us take aging as like, like something we have to live with and you can't really control it. But you're saying there are ways to speed it up and slow it down. And that's the key is like, all you have to do is learn those factors, right? Right. Yeah. So scientists and uh, longevity enthusiasts are really looking for ways to possibly even reverse aspects of aging, or maybe one day we can reverse whole body aging. Uh, a lot of enthusiasts in the field refer to something called longevity escape velocity. That's the point at which scientific innovation is adding more years to our life then time is elapsing. In other words, we are innovating faster than time. So if you are alive once we hit escape of velocity, um, even if you're 90 years old, uh, the science is keeping up with every year that you are, are alive and it's extending the lifespan. Uh, wow. Right now, we're, we're not even close to that. Right yeah. now, what we're much closer to, and, and anyone who tells you otherwise is really just hyping things up and it, it, we're not there. Uh, what we're focused on, at least at my company, is, is the really practical, realistic things that we can do, but looking through the lens of scientific research to see what is actually impacting our aging versus what is a fad or what is some sort of scam that people are pushing or something that is just steeped in tradition, but is not actually shown to have an impact on the aging process. <laughs> 